everyone, welcome back to AI Upheaval channel. I've got some honestly insane news about the future of artificial intelligence, OpenAI and GPT-5. The CEO of OpenAI, Sam Altman, has made some stunning statements about the upcoming GPT-5 model, which is expected to be the most powerful and versatile AI system ever created. In this video, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about GPT-5, what it can do and why it's so exciting. So, if you haven't already, smash that subscribe button and ring the bell so you're not left behind on any of this awesome AI stuff we're covering. OpenAI, the masterminds behind insane projects like GPT-3 and 4, DALE and Codex models that are so insanely powerful, they've been transforming the tech scene. As we all know, AI is that can write full-blown essays, generate memes on the fly, and even create websites. But that's just the beginning. Right now, OpenAI's current flagship model is GPT-4, released just a couple of months back in March 2023. This beast was a serious step up from GPT-3.5. GPT-4 is a large multimodal model, which means it can accept both text and image inputs and produce text outputs. It can perform a variety of tasks such as writing essays, generating code, answering questions, creating images, and more. Handle but it can longer also handle and, longer more, and complex more complex inputs, inputs and outputs, and outputs than GPT-3.5, thanks to its larger memory and attention span. But trust me, GPT-4 is nothing compared to what GPT-5 will be able to do. According to Sam Altman, OpenA's CEO, GPT-5 is going to be a total game changer. And today, we're going to unpack what exactly uh, he means by that. Uh, First off, he's talked uh, about removing the cap on the uh, length of messages users can send to the model. With GPT-4, you're capped at 2048 tokens per message. To be honest, that can be a bit limiting, but with GPT-5, users will be able to send unlimited messages to the model, which will allow them to interact with it more naturally and flexibly. For example, Users will be able to have longer and more detailed conversations with the model, ask it to perform multiple tasks in a single message, or give it more complex and nuanced instructions. This will make the model more user-friendly and versatile. Then he's mentioned improving mathematical calculations and logical reasoning because, let's face it, as awesome as GPT-4 is, it sometimes struggles with basic math and logic. But with GPT-5, that's not going to be a problem anymore. Altman said that the model will be able to handle these kinds of problems with ease and accuracy. He's also, he talked, has also about talked about reducing the AI's, the AI's excessive apologies and self-deprecation, because, because, because honestly, who needs, who needs an, an AI, AI that keeps, that keeps saying things like, things like, I'm not very smart, not very smart or, or I'm still, I'm learning, still learning, or please, please don't, don't judge me. me. We, we want, want our, our AI, AI to be confident and reliable. And reliable. So, so with GPT-5, Altman said that the model will be more confident and assertive in its responses and only apologize when it's appropriate or necessary. Also, also GPT-5 GPT will be better at remembering, remembering things, things and being, and being con At present, GPT-4 often forgets user inputs and can be inconsistent. For instance, it might say its favorite color is blue, then later say it's green. But GPT-5, according to Altman, will remember more and respond more consistently. This will make it smarter and more tailored to individual users. The best part is that Altman hints at mind-blowing new features for GPT-5 that GPT-4 doesn't have. He didn't reveal many details about these features, but he hinted that they will involve more modalities such as audio and video inputs and outputs. He also hinted that they will involve more interactivity, such as voice recognition synthesis, and synthesis, facial expression, facial expression and, emotion and emotion detection, and gesture, and gesture control. control. He said that these said features, that these will, features make the will make the model more immersive, more immersive and, engaging and engaging for users. For users. And, and I agree because, because to, be to be honest, this is going, this to, is take going to take AI, AI to a whole new level. level. Well, well Sam, Sam Altman is not just any CEO. He's got a grand vision for AI. He's got a passion for changing the world with AI. From solving, solving the world's, the world's biggest, biggest problems like climate change, change to revolutionizing, to revolutionizing education. education. He was one he of the co-founders of the most Y Combinator, a startup accelerator that helped launch some of the most successful Silicon companies Valley, in Silicon Valley, such as Airbnb, Airbnb Dropbox, Stripe, Stripe, and Reddit. And Reddit. He was also one of the early investors in OpenAI before becoming its CEO in 2019. One of the areas that Sam Altman is particularly passionate about is education. 
He believes that AI can revolutionize the way we learn and teach by providing personalized and interactive learning experiences for everyone. For example, he recently announced that OpenAI is working on a project called OpenAI Academy, Academy which, is which is a platform that will use GPT-5 GPT to provide high-quality and affordable education for anyone who wants to learn anything. OpenAI Academy will allow users, will allow to, users access to access a variety of courses, topics, courses ranging from and math, and, math and, and science to music and art, users will and be users able will be able to interact with GPT-5 as their teacher, tutor, mentor, or friend, and get feedback and guidance along the way. An interesting thing is that users will also be able to create their own courses and share them with others. Altman said that Altman OpenAI said that Academy, Open AI will, be Academy will be launched in late 2023, and it will be free for anyone who wants to use it. But Sam Altman isn't just looking at the positive side of AI. And risks, he like knows bias, there are challenges and privacy risks issues, like bias, and even privacy existential issues, threats. And even existential That's, threats. Why open AI That's why OpenAI is committed to being a responsible organization. They want to ensure AI is used ethically, respects everyone's autonomy and dignity, and benefits all of humanity. To make sure this vision becomes a reality. OpenAI is willing to work, with, willing governments to work with governments and They want to make sure AI is used lawfully and ethically. Altman even met with French President Emmanuel Macron recently to discuss the future of AI in Europe. French they talked about how to regulate AI in a way that balances innovation and social welfare. So what's next for OpenAI and GPT-5? Open and GPT-5. Well, it looks like they've, well, got, well, looks big like they've got big Altman plans. Wants open AI Altman to be wants OpenAI to be at the forefront and GPT-5 to be the most powerful AI system ever. He's aiming to make GPT-5 more versatile, adaptable, adaptable scalable, scalable, and, and accessible. accessible. He even said that GPT-5 could be ready for public release by mid-2024. That's just around the corner. Now, of course, OpenAI and Altman aren't the only ones in the AI game. There are other big players like Google, and more, Facebook, all working Microsoft, on their own. and more, all working on their own AI systems. So how does Altman handle this competition? Well, in his own words, he welcomes it. He thinks competition fosters innovation and progress, and ultimately, the goal is to ensure AI technology benefits all of humanity. He's even open to collaborations with other organizations because he knows that to tackle the grand challenges of AI, it's going to take a team effort. Moreover, Altman is fully aware of the importance of AI safety. He emphasizes that with the great power of AI, there also comes great responsibility. OpenAI is committed to ensuring that their AI technologies, including the upcoming GPT-5, are designed and deployed in a way that is safe and beneficial to all. They're investing heavily in AI safety research, creating guidelines for AI use, and even considering ways to make their AI refuse harmful instructions. Their vision for open AI is to lead by example in the field of AI ethics. They're striving for transparency in their work, regularly publishing most of their AI research, sharing safety policy and standards research, and inviting public input on their deployment policies. They want to hold themselves accountable and help shape a global consensus on AI ethics. In conclusion, OpenAI's future looks quite promising with GPT-5 live on the horizon and other exciting projects in the pipeline. They are set to redefine the AI landscape, and as Altman puts it, they're just getting started. So stay tuned, my friends, because the best is yet to come. That wraps up our video. I trust you liked our detailed look at what's ahead for OpenAI and GPT-5. If you've got any questions or ideas, drop them in the comments. We love your feedback. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring the world of AI.